to be creative stamping. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this adorable little box just in time for Valentine's Day. We are going to use brand new product from the 2018 Occasions Catalog. So if you have your, your book with you, flip on over to pages 18 and 19 in the Occasions Catalog. And um, in order to create our box, we're going to use the Paint It With Love Suite. And so on this page, you're going to see a beautiful display of projects that you will be able to create with the following supplies on the next page. So first of all, of course, we have our stamp set, and this is available in clear and wood mount, and it's entitled Sure Do Love You. And it coordinates beautifully with the framelits. And so I can give you a closer look at what the Lots to Love box framelits look like. You'll also find other coordinating product. For example, the designer paper is called Painted with Love. And here is a sampling of the designer paper. Let me zoom back out. So this is one sheet of paper, the front and the back a second sheet of paper and so you can see that um, all of this designer paper one side will have some gold in it and the other side will be more of a, a muted pattern but the colors are just beautiful and it does coordinate beautifully with the gold glitter flakes and the gold glitter flakes can be found right here in the catalog this would be great for embellishing cards and even using in a shaker type card of course there's always ribbon and this is the um the love mini t uh, tinsel trim and both of these come together in one package it's five yards on each roll so that's going to give you 10 yards and look how beautiful they look together just really pretty and you'll also notice, and I don't have this, surprise, the Painted Love Gold Vinyl Stickers. So this is a beautiful addition, and it does coordinate with the stamp set and the framelits as well. And one other little gem down here, the Whisper White Narrow Note Cards and Envelopes. This is brand new, so let me show you what they look like. It's these little narrow cards and um, they already are pre-scored and it also comes with a coordinating envelope and the cards measure two and a half by four and a half and the best part these little cards fit inside the box that we're making today and so quickly i'll just i was having a little bit of fun with these cards so here's one of them right here and I'm just, I'm using the stamp set that, um, that goes with this suite. Again, here's another one. And you can see our designer paper with the gold in it. And then here's another one that I made. So these are super fun. I just attached designer paper to the front of the note card. And if you like 12 by 12 paper, you can actually get the Paint It With Love cardstock pack. You'll get Calypso Coral, Melon Mambo, and the Powder Pink. Now let's take a closer look at the stamp set and the coordinating framelits. So you will notice this heart right here. And you'll be able to stamp and cut out this um, heart here. You can also stamp the words up here and you can cut that out using this heart. And the other really neat idea is to stamp this, which is what we're going to do today, and then actually cut out the inside. And it looks great when you do that. So let me show you just a few other things with the framelits. Um, this large piece here is for the box, and you do need to cut two of these in order to create one box. Let's flip it on over and you'll notice the banner framelit. You can actually stamp and you can also just cut out the banner and use it for something else. 
You can also stamp the hard and notice how this is not a solid image. And you can cut this out, or if you just need a heart, just cut out a heart. By the way, these colors are Melon Mambo. And of course, we have three different size hearts here. You can stamp them and cut them out, or just cut, or just cut a bunch of hearts for confetti. And this little image right here, the um, vine, here it is stamped and cut out. But what Stampin' Up! has done this time is they've included two of these framelits. There's just one of these leaves, so you can stamp as many as you want, and then you can cut two at a time, which is a whole lot faster than cutting just one. All right, and this little guy here um, is actually... Um, a gift card slot. So um, I'll try and explain that in a little bit. But for now, we do want to get started um, creating our box. And so I'm going to start with a standard sheet of cardstock. This is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. And this, again, it's a standard piece. And so I want to show you how to cut this to get the most out of your paper. And so I'm going to start with the Stampin' Trimmer, and I actually want to cut it at four and a quarter. And you probably already know that when you cut this at four and a quarter, you actually get two card bases. All right. And so now what we want to do is we're going to make one more, or actually two more cuts. Okay. So this little guy here is going to fit quite um very it's it's very um very tight fit but it will still work and then i'm just going to go on and trim this um here okay let me try that one more time i didn't get a very deep cut there we go so you probably want to cut this at about let's measure it but i'm thinking at about six and a half inches six and a half to six and three quarter inches and if you do that on both of these pieces, then you have enough to make the one box. Okay, I've taken time to cut both pieces to the box. One will become the top, one will be the bottom, and do cut them one at a time so that you can get um, better, uh, firmer score lines. I'm gonna set this aside for now, and we're gonna start with um, a little bit of stamping. We're gonna start with the heart here in powder pink ink. And this is one of the end colors. And I'm just gonna ink this up really well. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in the center. This is just scrap paper, okay? But if you were looking to cut a piece, you would cut it at two and a half by two and three quarters, and that would be enough. We're gonna cut this out in a little bit with the framelit. All right, so now we are going to do a little embossing, which is always fun. And we're gonna start with the Sure Do Love You. I got a little bit of glitter here, so. This is the Versamark, and I'm inking this up, okay? And now I am going to stamp it on powder pink right in the center. Again, this is just scrap paper. And then I'm going to take um, the gold embossing powder and open that up. And I am going to ooh, sprinkle all the way across. And yes, you do want to cover it, so that is okay. And you're going to notice that this is not a solid image and it's not supposed to be. So you're gonna have those little areas where there isn't any um, embossing powder, okay? I'm just gonna put this um, clothespin on and here we go. And now I can use my heating tool or my heat gun to do um, its magic. I was able to emboss this with the gold powder, and um, now we're going to get our two pieces of our box back. So let's bring those back in. We're not going to need the framelit. For some reason, I got lots of gl uh, glitter around here. Okay, all 
right, so we're actually going to stamp again, and um, I think I'll just use this one right here. It doesn't matter which one you use. And this is the heart, and you'll notice on the sample that we're going to emboss that heart, and then we'll go to the big shot and cut out that heart right there. So you wanna be mindful of your score lines. Here is a score line here, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this with the lighting, another score line, and here is a score line. I don't wanna fold the score lines yet because then the paper will not be straight for stamping. So, um, but I do wanna be mindful of that score line and these two because I wanna put the heart right there in the center. All right, so again, I'm using Versamark. Okay, and I am going to come down about so. All right, and I'm gonna press firmly. All right, and then I am going to take the golden, oh, you know what I forgot? The embossing buddy. Well, we're gonna try and do it without it. Um, I do like to use the embossing buddy on this box because the first time I created one, I got these little flecks of gold powder everywhere. And of course they wouldn't come off the box, but maybe I'll get lucky today. And it looks like I am gonna be lucky today. This is the embossing buddy that I am talking about. And what you usually do is just to rub your paper with the embossing buddy. And that cuts down on the static so that the little powder pieces don't stick everywhere. But I actually think I have it. I got really lucky this time. So I'm gonna close up my Versamark and move the powder out of the way. And now I'm back with my heat tool. And we are going to emboss this. I keep it, the, the video on long enough so you can actually see it turn. We are now ready to cut everything out using our heart framelit and our banner framelit. So I will go and run do right. that. We're now ready to assemble the box. I have done the embossing, I've cut out the hole, and now I'm just going to turn this over. And um, I have this window sheet that I'm going to use, and it's going to cover up the heart. So let me measure this for you. This is about two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches, and that's going to be plenty to cover up the heart. So I'm going to just put a glue dot on each corner, just like that, and then I'm just I'm going to attach it. So it's super simple. Now at this point, I am ready to start folding my score lines. And so you can actually do that on both pieces. Okay, I have folded all of my score lines on both pieces, okay? And um, here are the little flaps to the box. I've already taken the time to put tear and tape along the edge here, not on the flap, okay? Don't put it on the flap. And then I also did it on this side as well. And that's all the box requires is the two pieces of tear and tape. Okay, so now you're going to want to um, get your box ready to assemble. And you wanna be sure that you've got one flap over here on the left and one over here on the right, okay? And I'm gonna use my paper snips to just kinda lift this paper up and peel it off, and I'm just going to do one side. So um, I actually should have started with that side, but you know what, this will work. So again, be sure you have one flap over here and one over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up these two ends being careful not to attach the flaps, okay? And now I already have this side of the box put together just by attaching those two, okay? And now I'm going to do the very same thing over here. All right, I'm gonna peel this off and I am going to attach 
these two together. Let's see. I promise you it's easy. I just want to be sure that I am lining up. There we go. Just want to be sure you're lining that up. Okay. So now we have both sides of the box done. Of course, this is the bottom. So I'm actually just going to tuck this tab in. Okay for the very bottom, and we're going to add some designer paper. Now, it probably would be easier to put the designer paper on when it's not a box, but I forgot to do that, so we're going to just go ahead and add it now. And so, um, you know, there's more than one way to do this. I'm going to use snail, because I do want to attach this to the bottom of the box, just like that. All right, that should take care of that. And again, if this wants to poke out, all you have to do is take one little glue dot, because this is the bottom of the box anyway, and just tuck that glue dot in there, and then close it. Okay, and that little flap will stay right in for you. Okay, and it is the bottom, so it doesn't need to be reopened. Now I'm putting snail on this little piece of designer paper. And if you remember, I already showed you all the different pieces in the pack. They're all beautiful and they all have the little flecks of gold in it. Okay, so when you create your box, you may want to put your designer paper on before it's assembled. Okay, just, um, just a suggestion. All right, so I've cut out this little heart here and I'm just going to use snail. And we are actually going to offset this heart, and I'll put it about right here. Now this works out great, because if you don't have your heart in the exact center, if you don't have your big heart in the exact center, when you offset this, it looks centered. So there you go. And then here's our banner, and I've already taken the time to put dimensionals on the back of this. And... I will attach it just so, just like that. And we are we are going to attach a little bow. Now this bow here, whoops, excuse me, comes from the Organza ribbon. And this is in the Occasions catalog too, okay? And um, it's called Whisper White. You'll wanna scoot over, if you're on YouTube right now, you're gonna wanna scoot over to my blog later and pick up an inspiration sheet on this project. All right, so I already took the time to tie the bow, and I'm going to take a glue dot and put on the back of that knot, and then I'm just gonna tuck that bow right there. I just felt like the box needed something else, so. Okay, so if you're visiting me today on YouTube, head on over to BeCreativeStamping.com. Um, you'll see the video there and a blog post and um, an inspiration sheet. And it also has suggestions on what to put inside. Let me show you two other boxes that I made recently. This one is actually in the Occasions catalog. And yes, this is one of the designer papers as well. The Calypso Coral Ribbon is from Celebration. And I have white um, chocolate covered pretzels in here. And um, I just slid my pretzels in a three by six cello bag and then tucked it inside the box, okay? And one other box is this one right here. And I'm using the Framelit Celebrate and it's from the Celebration catalog, Celebrate Youth Inlet's Dies. And this heart right here is from Sweet and Sassy. So let me show you that real quick. This is Sweet and Sassy, and this coordinates beautifully with this set as well. And of course, here's the organza ribbon again, and then here's some of that really pretty twine. So please let me know if you have any questions. Visit me on my blog, and thanks so much for buzzing by.